Today on the channel, I cross off the number one bucket list item I have in my entire life. here and welcome back to the channel for something entirely different kind of sort of maybe uh, but today we're talking about a bucket list adventure one of the only places in the entire world I've ever said where man I got to go here once in my life and I finally got that done this week and you're gonna see all about it in this very video of course I did go to Los Angeles California in the last week a lot of you guys that Watch the channel, follow along on the channel, and if you're not, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do subscribe. Uh, but I did go to California for WrestleMania. I went to the Hall of Fame, I went to SmackDown, both nights of WrestleMania, and then I was very fortunate to be invited to go to Mattel headquarters, check out a lot of new releases, checked out the releases at the Superstore, a lot of video, a lot of content here on the channel, so make sure you check out those videos. Some of them are already up, some of them still to come, uh, but quite the weekend, no rest for the wicked like a young Ozzy Osbourne, as I slept maybe like three hours each night on average didn't really get a whole lot of sleep in and you know what to say you'll sleep when you're dead that's what you're gonna do uh, but I did get to go out there and I did get to do all that kind of stuff but when I knew I was going to California there was one thing that went right to the top of the list that I had to do and luckily the last day on Monday I did get to visit the Rainbow Bar and Grill on the Sunset Strip and if you're not familiar with the Rainbow one of the historic kind of heavy metal rock clubs uh, in the world really one of the biggest ones ever of course, on the famed Sunset Strip, right next to the Roxy, right next to uh, the Troubadours around the corner, and then, of course, Whiskey A Go-Go. So a lot of historic places if you're into concerts and metal bands and hard rock and all that kind of stuff. But the Rainbow is the Mecca. That is the religious experience for me, obviously, because who used to hang out there all the time? My favorite of all time is Lemmy and Motorhead. You guys know I've been a Motorhead fan for a long, long time. Too many years to count. Uh, and it, there's really been a piece of me that's missing ever since Lemmy died and Motorhead disbanded and went on their ways. Uh, really a piece of me is missing. As so many of my years were around, okay, Lemmy and the, and the boys are doing a tour, uh, the fall tour, the spring tour, summer tour, whatever. And it was following them around the Midwest, things like that, traveling. I went on both Motorhead cruises. I'm a member of the Motorhead Bangers represent. Uh, I'm a big Motorhead fan. So Lemmy was a big part and still is a big part of my life. So much like the Ultimate Warrior, George Harrison, kind of the pinnacles of my fandoms of uh, you know, celebrities, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it was really a depressing time for me when Lemmy died, of course. And I remember on the Motorhead cruise back in the day, uh, I remember going back to my cabin with my wife and I got up, I said, I got to go see Lemmy one more time. I just feel like I'm never going to see him again. And that's exactly right. So I went to the casino. There he was at the slot machine. I got to see him one last time and he died two months later. So Lemmy's meant a lot to me. Love everything Motorhead. Love it. And uh, Lemmy spent a lot of time when he was home in California. The rainbow was truly his home away from home. He had his stool. He had his poker machine. Uh, that's where he went all the time. And so many others as well. Not just Lemmy, uh, but the Ronnie James Dio's of the world. Uh, the Slashes, the Guns N' Roses, you name it. They've all been through the rainbow. And you're going to see a lot of that footage in here. But I got to go there finally. I got to hang out in Lemmy's Lounge. A lot of people uh, closed down the rainbow. I opened up the rainbow. So I got there at 11 a.m. when they opened because I had a flight to catch early in the afternoon. But I got to go in there and I got to eat a pizza. I got the pepperoni and the meatball pizza. That was delicious. David C. Anderson, great friend of the channel, he went along with me there so we could document all this kind of stuff. So thanks, David, for going there. Not really your uh, cup of tea, but he was a trooper. He helped me out with all this. Um, but we went there and uh, had quite the time. Like I said, I got a pizza. I toured Lemmy's Lounge. I sat in Lemmy's chair. I saw the fabled Lemmy statue. Got my picture taken with it. And it was just one of those goosebump moments. It's one of those things... You can't explain until you get it. I've got it a few times in my life, but I just kind of sat there and I, I really couldn't believe where I was. You know, the goosebumps start on your arm. It was just, I don't know if a religious experience is, is the way to put it, but the closest thing to it or beyond it, whatever it may be. Uh, but it was very emotional, very emotional for me to see, okay, this is where Lemmy always sat. This is the statue. This is what we have left as a representation tribute to Lemmy out there. So it was quite this time. And then, of course, the rainbow alone, just being a, a landmark, a historic landmark, getting to walk around there, check out everything there. It was quite the time for me. So I really enjoyed myself. I filmed this short video. Thought some of you guys, I know there's a lot of metalhead. I know you, you, and you, and you, and you in the back. I know you guys are metalheads too, so I know some of you guys will get enjoyment here of this on the channel. So I wanted to put a video together for some of you that maybe never got the chance to go there. So here it is, my day at the Rainbow. 
there's the old whiskey a go go. Lots went on there back in the day and to this day. Just missed my buddy Scotty in the other day on the Ultimate Jam night. There's the Roxy. Got the whiskey, the Roxy, and the rainbow. Just the old heavy metal tour. How about that? How about that? The wall in front of the rainbow. The Muppets. The Beatles. James Brown, hardest working man in show business. Oh, my boy's Thin Lizzy. Look at somebody deface this wall with you too. Graffiti at its finest. Johnny Cash. Rush down, all right. Lou Adler. Megadeth, Alice Cooper. Bowie, Fleetwood Mac. Skinnerd. Pink Floyd, Skid Row. Okay, ACDC. Biohazard, Fishbone, Sublime, Queen. Very cool, very cool. I cannot wait to go inside. Look at they got WrestleMania sign, Rainbow sign, Lemmy. Just playing all the hits here, playing all the hits, guys. All the hits. Got a little automated delivery system right there. Wild. Yeah, they don't got those in the Midwest yet it's making a hot delivery somewhere it's on the run oh wait what it's checking crazy oh man there's the inside of the rainbow first one's here some people close down the rainbow others we open it we open it up pretty wild awesome To everything I hoped it would be. Crazy. Truly living the dream. Going upstairs. All right, guys, I finally made it. I'm here at the Rainbow, this thing, the Rainbow Barn Grill, Los Angeles, California, Sunset Strip. Go check out the Lemmy statue, check out Lemmy's chair. Eat a pizza, of course. You gotta eat a pizza here. But yeah, it's just absolutely mind blowing to finally be here. It's a great old trip for me. I don't, I'm a guy that doesn't want to travel a bunch of places to see the sights. This is the one place in the world I've always wanted to go. So I'm crossing it off my bucket list today. Here I am. Words, I can't even put the words together. I always have the words for something, I, I don't have words on this one. It's just like a religious experience being here today. I mean, absolutely insanity. I, I can't even put it into words. But here it is, finally here with the statue. Showing some wear, put people putting their guitar picks in there, paying tributes. Sounds like there's cigarettes in there about every night in his mouth. Just absolutely breathtaking. Unbelievable. No words, no words. Outside on the patio, what a mural right there of old Lemmy. Man, end of the show, firing it off, closing shots. Born to lose, live to win. Oh man, wild. Look at this, Lemmy's Lounge. There's old Jack Daniel, fitting. Lemmy's Lounge, got pictures over the years. Oh, look at that, there's Lemmy right there. Look at that smile. I'd have that smile too if I was him. Kinds of pictures. Got the nice banner across the top, Lemmy's Lounge. Seats, Jack Daniels, this is kind of the covered. It's the Lemmy Lounge. It's truly the Lemmy Lounge. There's Mario, owner died unfortunately but it happens all <laughs> theater wild wild love that lemmy picture at the top there it's motorhead wurzel years more to lose live to win one of my favorite pictures guitars up there drum 
Like I was saying, I love that picture. That's one of my favorite motorhead pictures from the later days. It's the old bar, the Lemmy Duck in there. Look at that. Just unbelievable. This is my bucket list of my life goal. This is the one thing I wanted to see. There's Lemmy's chair right there. I sat in it, can't believe it. There it is. There's the old poker machine. Motorhead skateboard, posters, pictures, statue of course, merchandise, old school classic pictures. Wow. Of course I ordered a pizza here. I'm a bit of a pizza king as you guys know, so I, got, I had to get the pizza at the rainbow. Just wild. Here I am, Lemmy's Lounge, the rainbow. I'm sitting in Lemmy's chair. Unbelievable. Can't believe it. Now, the only thing better would be, obviously, if Lemmy was still here and I was sitting right here. But I'll take this for what it is right now. Just a religious experience. I mean, just unbelievable. I'm, yeah, just, I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say, but very happy to be here. That's for sure. There's the outside mural of Lemmy. Look at that. How do I get that on the side of my house? Or at least the garage. Guns N' Roses, gotta promote the GNR. Box sets, came out last year. Are you ready for Power Trip? My wallet's not ready. No way I'm going to that, but that's gonna be quite the show. All right, I went with the pepperoni and meatball. Try it out, thin crust. And the inside. Came at the perfect time. I'd love to be here at night, but nobody here could really soak everything in. The old fireplace, playing Alice Cooper, a guy that hung out here for many years in the 70s. The upstairs. Wow. Unbelievable for a guy like me.